In the left-hand side, we have a score for a composition called, What is the Metaverse? On the right-hand side, we have a video edit called, What is the Metaverse? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound, Part 39, Poise, Moving, Extend. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that multitasking allows cross-pollination of ideas between projects, but, and, sometimes you just have to focus on one project at a time to get it done and off the list. Nothing wrong with having a lot of programs on the list, but, and, we do need to periodically complete them to recoup energy for future work. In particular, we completed uh, an updated presentation on what is the metaverse, and this is the entire video of it. And we took one small piece extracted from it where we did a demo of what is the metaverse. Sound like. What might it sound like? So that is off of our list. And also we composed that music during the same uh, episode. So we crossed streams, we cross-pollinated, and uh, in particular what we were doing was we were starting to work on a new series of music. And we decided to return to using what we call our custom 3663 scale, which sounds like this. And uh, we are using our MIDI keyboard. Now it turns out that what you're hearing here is exactly something that we were able to generate here. Something like that. By generating chords on it. But we also methodically experimented with the keyboard to help us generate all possible, well, not just all possible chords. We know that there are 20 possible chords, but interesting sounding sequences. So these are four chords that we liked, which had this melody. And then kind of a, an accompaniment. And that's the neutral and the minor mode and the root. Now we broke them into arpeggios. And then, this is where it got funky, we said, okay, keyboard, help us generate things. And after it generated things, we kind of did an ad hoc by ear. Then we became very methodic and said, what else have you got? Each one of those is a different series. This was the minor series and the major series. And then over here, we can hear that they're different. They may not be different on the first time you hear them. Then another chord series in a different pattern. And then in the major version, I think you can hear the difference here. Subtle, but it's there. And that was what we were after. We were looking for generating chords, four note chords, that we wouldn't, that are tedious to work out by hand but that the, our, our MIDI keyboard can say, tell me the notes. We programmed it to only play the six notes, not the whole thing. And then it, we let it loose. So anyway, we generated those two pieces of music with the MIDI keyboard. Now, what we're really trying to work on is something called the returning series. And the returning series is based on a sestet we wrote a while back. And 
it's really the idea of uh, multitasking, working on more than one thing at the same time. And when we were in university, we had a job at the university being a research assistant and working on our courses and our degrees. And we also had a job at another university teaching statistics. And every other day, we would go back and forth from one physical location and one project to the other. And so um, kind of a way to express that here lyrically was, I have two homes in which I work. Between them daily I commute. One's in the sky, the other earth. Each time I change, I leave a note. It helps me back my pace and sure and keeps me focused on my purview. Now, these are what we call sestets. And all of these sestets we have music for. That's That was... That's the interesting point about all that. So we went back and collected all the sestets that we have music for, and um, we we think we're going to do the returning one. But in order to write music for it, we, we were starting the brainstorm. And here's the music that we've written, and there's six, six pieces here. Every time you see a dark bar, that means it's a different sestet. And you can actually see the words at the bottom. So what we're going to do to bring us home here is play the music that we've written in the past, melodies only, for um, our six-line poems. And then this is part of our returning project, which is what we're working on. concludes today's episode. What we like about the returning series is literally going back and compiling where we actually took our sestet words and fit them with music that, that went together. And uh, we like also that we 
saw the transition. We have a diatonic traditional scale, do, re, mi, here. But even so, there's some very different feel. Two time, four time, and three time. And also kind of cheerful and uh, somber. But we also like that the, here we've got the custom scales coming in. The uh, way up here, two of them. Colonel Sestet is using 3443 and 2552 alternating, and this is using 2332. So, so we're looking forward to this project. Shout outs to Silent Lurker, Methodic Innovator, and Exilium stopped by today, and Exilium shared some music that they allowed us to play. And they're sending it to us as an MP3. So we're going to do a demo music animation with them. We showed them the music animator program and they liked it. So that's on our list for ideas for next time, which are to continue working with the returning series, visual composing. We've got some more recordings, video recordings we're going to make. And we're still acclimating to this new computer. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.